We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, who welcome back to the Know the Game Report. I am, of course, Trex, and along beside me is Mr. Googly Eyes himself. Cookie! It's Cookie. You don't look like a strong black female. What? That's, wait, strong? I don't know. Cookie from uh, Empire. Oh, nice, nice. Um, no, this is a Father's Day card my kids got me, and I just thought it was funny. Thought I'd share. I just, uh, I love, I like googly eyes stuff. Like Ari. Uh, anyway, I'm of course Stevie B, and tonight, oh, tonight, do we have some stuff to talk about? Oh man, we've been gone for two weeks. We haven't done a regular show in two weeks. We've done we did the EA coverage, so we haven't had an actual new show in two weeks. Uh, man, do we have a lot to go over? All right, how's everyone doing tonight? That's the big question. That's what's on. That, that, that's what we want to know. Is how are y'all doing? How, how how's it going with y'all? Trex just found out that every time he's muted himself, I thought he was muted. I could hear him because he had his camera mic attached to Discord. And not his boom. So there you go. Double size game report. It's long. I actually, we had, we had a conversation I, before the stream. And I was like, bro, we're gonna have to like, we're we have to get through this quick. Like <laughs> sometimes we'll sit here and rant on stuff for like twenty minutes, but that's right. There's a lot. We had to cut some stuff out. Uh, so sorry about that. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh I did. Stuff. I didn't actually cut it out. Oh, you didn't cut it out. Okay, that's right. There you go. Um. 24-hour game report. Let's not get fucking crazy, Raphraim, okay? Some of us have to actually go to work tomorrow. I have to go into work tomorrow. I really hope I don't have a day like I had on Tuesday. I, I was going to stream The Last of Us 2 Tuesday night, but I didn't get home until almost 8 o'clock. <laughs> it was not a good day for me at work. I actually had to dig through the damn trash. I don't want to tell you why. I'm just going to let that be out there so you guys can think about it. But I had to dig through the trash. That was not a good day for me at all. I wonder if that still works. No. No, it doesn't. Raph Prime, because it's a different setup. <laughs> it's a it's it's a different uh different thing. Uh, good to see you guys. Didn't get caught up in the Destiny Two weekend of destruction. The Destiny Two weekend of destruction. I'm not sure what happened on Destiny Two. Destiny Two weekend of destruction. Something happened in the game. I don't know. Uh, um, I oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh it was uh it was a fucking weekend yeah, yeah. oh yeah are I we talking about that stuff we're talking about that, that guy stuff was... oh that because that guy that uh one his... rage yeah he's a big destiny streamer i i listened to his podcast on the regular about like streaming tips and shit so like i was like I i'm pretty sure his phone. streaming tips is perfectly fine it's just how he treats women let's just not do that yeah, still. was that was that on the podcast? I still was like, uh... <laughs> I, started, I, I didn't feel comfortable. I was like, oh, it's a I, I, oh, Rony, I the dead, yeah. the dead San Francisco treat. I can go see something else. Uh, some people got caught out. Some might be going to prison. Well, <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, we'll we'll start this off on a somber note. All right, so. Somber. I'm not sure if everyone's been following Twitter uh, with the cancel oh, culture and everything. Uh, you've been canceled, you've been canceled, you've been canceled. <laughs> uh, so currently going on today for 24 hours uh, for Wednesday, there is a Twitch blackout going on. There are a number of streamers. And where I actually found out Joseph Morgan, who was on the originals on Vampire Diaries, he played Niklaus and... Uh, and I was like, wait, Niklaus is streamer? And sure enough, when I found it, followed anyways uh a lot of streamers are supporting the twitch blackout in which the twitch blackout is basically to have a 24 hours of no streaming done on the channels that most people would definitely be watching it goes from low uh from low small streamers all the way to some big timers as well 
and their purpose is to show in solidarity the fact that uh, to speak out about all the racial injustice going on, and now especially all the sexual misconduct that's been going around ever since last weekend, even last week. Uh, and also, in, of course, support of Black Lives Matter. Uh, we, st <laughs> I told Stevie B this because he doesn't follow the Twitter trends, and he was like, bro, that's our game report night. I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> We're still going to stream. We're still going to stream. <laughs> Uh, just because we decided to stream does not mean that we do not care about Black Lives Matter. Stevie B cares about me, and I care about Dante. So let's try it. <laughs> so we are definitely not. We are streaming not to uh, not saying that we don't support the Twitch blackout cause. We actually do. Uh, we this was just our regular programming that we felt that tonight we still want to get our show out of the way, but that doesn't mean that we also can't have a conversation with our community to at least share share that knowledge that yes, black lives matters. Uh, and even all lives matters does, but right now black people are, the, are, are the ones who are in trouble. Everyone else does matter, but right now we need to focus on some black lives. Listen, I had my rant the other day, dude. I don't, I can't, I can't be repeating that. It's okay. It's oh, okay. I just, I just spazzed like the other day, but seriously, uh, on, on, on the flip side, stop disrespecting women. Fuck. That too. Like, so let's we... go ahead and start to show off with that first. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm having a nice Friday night. You know, I know I should have streamed, but it's okay. It was a nice Friday night with Carlin. It was a nice smooth night. I'm like, you know, it's midnight. I'm like, you know, what? it's almost time for bed. Might do some stuff, did some cleaning Saturday. So I'm going to go to bed. Let me go ahead and go on Twitter real fast just to check some notifications, check some mentions. And sure enough, I see a Destiny 2 streamer say no to rage trending. I'm like, oh, oh, well, good. He's trending. He doesn't trend a lot. Let's let's see what's going on with no. Oh no. Oh man. Just exposed. Just exposed. You've just been exposed. 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 You've just been exposed. I'm sorry. It was a long, very long. It was on Medium.com coming from. I believe her name is Miss Snaps. Uh, or snaps. I do, and maybe Raph knows the name, or Lurker, you might know the name as well. I apologize if I'm not saying her name correctly. Uh, she is as well a Destiny 2 streamer, went to the GCX bow thingy, uh, the community, uh, the charity stuff, uh, charity stream for the Guardians con that normally happens during this time, and basically gave her a recollection about what's happened with her, uh, let's say person to person interaction with say no to rage on a couple of occasions back in the day. And it was like, Whoa, that's wow. That is just a uh, mind blown. And then it proceeds into the entire weekend. First off, the entire week started off with wrestling communities going into the hashtag speaking out. And if you haven't looked at that thread, these are women speaking out on the wrestling community, and it broke her down into now the gaming community as well, that uh, about the sexual misconduct from wrestlers and now into the gaming industry. It now broke down into Omid from OP Group. It is an, a streamer slash content creator agency that was one of, the, one of the top ones in the industry right now, and he is the CEO, and he was called out for sexual misconduct. Now, I only know Omid from my short interaction with him where he got me onto the stage at, S at uh, the last SOE Live when DCO, like, you know, and was still part of SOE and stuff. Like, uh, I met with him. He was basically our point of contact. Meps, of course, I'm sure helped me get on there as well. Of course he did. But Omi was our, was our contact uh, with the VIPs and everything. And I... Thanked my thanked Omid so much for the opportunity, and that's really what what got me falling in love with SOE, with the management there, with Maps, with the, with the teams, uh, and then just coming to find out like this guy, like I follow him, I like, we're like man, one day I want to be on the OP group with with Omid, and just seeing this happen was like whoa, and it started off because I noticed that Tally the Tank, Sacral, Ezekiel the Third, Co Carnage. Angry, I think even Angry Joe might have even left. Like all these big names were leaving OP Group because of it. And of course, as soon as I hit that search on Twitter, no, 
<laughs> Nothing but exposed. Oh, that was your cue. Oh, exposed. Exposed. You just been exposed. Exposed. <laughs> exposed. You ju- I don't know what to do my hands. You just been exposed. Yeah, that's all we can do. Um so I just I don't mean to make light of the situation. But say no to rage a few days ago. Pulled a clip from a stream where he was like, you know, amping up the Black Black Lives Matter movement. You saw that clip too? <laughs> and uh the comments underneath this video. There's two I would like to uh to, to talk about. Okay. Number one, a- asks him straight up, what are your thoughts on the hashtag Me Too movement? Oh no. <laughs> and uh another one, it was just a post, it's a picture from Destiny 2 when you die and it says your light fades away. <laughs> oh man. That's uh that's rough, boys. Twitter ain't fucking around. Um nah man. I, I don't I don't get it. So I read I, I didn't read a lot, I read a little because I get really disheartened at stuff like that. I don't under, I don't understand it. Like I don't I I never I never got it. I never I never like I I don't know. Um I just, I, 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 I'm not in like a famous, and they're not really, in, I guess they're sort of in famous places, right? Like, I don't know how that fucks with your psyche where like you lose the, uh, the only thing I can think of, right, is that like you lose the, the empathy or I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It's like, you, you're just not fucking thinking right, right? Like, like the part where it's like, this is wrong. Is gone or something, right? Conscience. Like, cause to that's me, your conscience speaking. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, to me, it's like I, it's hard for me to even understand because it doesn't make any sense, and I, I just don't get it. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. I, I don't know. I'm... And what we need to do is we need to walk a mile in their shoes. I you need to become like a predator. A... <laughs> and walk a mile in their shoes, bro. But no, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, it's it's. I can't. I'm like, give me his viewership, and I'll do a much better job. Okay, I promise. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the Destiny Two community just came a blowing. Like everyone was like, I knew it. This is an asshole. I knew it. And apparently, even before this all happened, no one liked say no to rage. And I knew. Yeah. I knew this guy. He looked like an asshole. <laughs> he looked like one. I knew it. Look at him. So the Destiny 2 community was definitely behind, and of course, even the Destiny themselves were like, we're done with him. He lost even, uh, like, some advanced CEO, like, uh, I think is what the handle was. Like, it was a sponsor for him, and they basically, like, we cut ties with him. He's, uh, we no longer represent him and stuff. It's like, holy crap. It's like, this is just shutting shit down. And it's it's just been a crazy weekend, like... Fuck. Mm, he's got his email on his Twitter. That's not good. Yeah. And I was even just, and I didn't get to catch any, uh, catch the stream on Saturday if he even streamed. I haven't seen him at least live all week so far. No, nah, dog. You'd be under a fucking rock. Not you personally. Like, yeah. Something like this happens, bro. You go fucking dark. Yeah. You especially... just unplug, unplug your modem, dog. Just don't. <laughs> like, don't. <laughs> just. I mean, just especially with his it? wife and kid. I mean, how are you gonna explain that? It's just put put out wait a week, put out your apology video, and then not stream for like a month. Like, but but you gotta start your apology video like this. <sighs> I didn't. I didn't want to have to make this video. <laughs> <sighs> well, you got you gotta say yes. I gotta start them all <laughs> deep deep size and talking about how you don't. Oh, and it's also. Uh, you get plus three if you have a pet in the shot with you. Gotcha. Okay. I've not seen him in my recommended channels in a while. Yeah, well, you're definitely not going to see him now. <laughs> rip. Um, rip yeah. indeed. At the end of the day, stop just fucking women. Fuck. <laughs> it's not a new concept. Especially strangers. Like, I know you can say, Steve, man, you disrespect Ari all the time. She likes to be disrespectful. <laughs> 
don't need to see oh, yeah. that sentence. I know, I know. That was. I just we just respect to... Ari all the time. Well, she likes being disrespected. I know. I just want to fucking like. I need for, that clip reference so in case sure. this gets clipped out of context. That that was a fucking joke. Okay, that was an absolute and complete joke. I like how you said it, though. She likes being disrespected. <laughs> Well, no, uh, but no, we, uh, so, you know, sometimes I do DM Ari and I'm like, that didn't upset you, right? Like, sometimes I actually, like, when we're fucking around, I do get like, I'm like, oh man, I hope that didn't actually. And then she, she pretty much calls me a pussy. And this, <laughs> <laughs> she does. You know? yeah, she does. Oh, no, I didn't take that too far. She's like, send me a fucking bitch, Stevie B. And I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, <laughs> uh i mean uh Orin hasn't gotten banned yet that's just, that's true um but the point is is that i've known ari for a long time we have an established relationship i would not go up to a fucking stranger and speak to them and and you like and, being like, disrespected yeah i would not say that <laughs> like that's not how it would be like that's the fucking point stop doing these as straight like you're uh, like it's all about consensual man like yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's. I just. I just. I've never understood it. It's. It's really just been a roller. For me, it was like a roller coaster of mind blowns all weekend long. You just go. I'm. Not, I was afraid to even go on Twitter. I was like, oh god, who else is gonna be exposed on Twitter? Who's going to Sammy Guevara from AEW? No. God damn it. <laughs> and then and then there's like a mild thing about Angry Joe, but that one's still up in the air. That one's still under investigation currently, so uh, we'll get back to you on the Angry Joe yeah. situation. Um, oh boy, subscribe! I mean, but to be fair, if you ever hit it big, like there's no women that could say anything, but Trex and Showtime they have strong cases against me. So let's hope that never happens. <laughs> so does Eric, because it definitely came across my Facebook feed from that Heroes Con when Eric was there. Well, what did I do to him? Your brush. Oh god, we're not talking. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're no, not. <laughs> but yeah, we have enough ammunition. Let, let's, let's leave us. Say. Leave us to go solo. We will let's, expose you. <laughs> expose, expose. Uh, let's just say, if you room with Stevie B, you're asking for it. <laughs> Stop! No, we don't phrase it that way anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time rooming with them, and it's true. But he rooming with me again after that, so there you go. <laughs> oh man, no, we're 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 uh, not trying not trying to make light of a of a serious situation, but like, fuck. Yeah. like uh, just, stop it. It please. just goes like, to show that it can happen to men too. Yeah, it it's Showtime and I are. We need to go to a tweet longer. Y'all saw that burp head, like Showtime. That's online now. Showtime just show it and be like, "Look, that's assault." <laughs> <laughs> All I'm hearing is, "I'm glad my recent heroes was the first one in the decade I didn't stay in town all weekend." Raph, you have no idea the close call you you got away with. Raph, That's not going to uh, save you last time. Next time, yeah, Raph. Uh, next time, uh, there's always <laughs> next year. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get in day, trouble. I know. At the end of the day, stop disrespecting fucking women. It's, yes, please. Especially women you just fucking meet for the first time. Not that disrespecting women is okay at any time. I'm just saying, like, all these people are like, "Well, we just met." I'm like, I don't. That is that is even more dumbfounded to me. It's like that's ballsy. Like you, you <laughs> just meet a girl. That's ballsy and arrogant. Like okay, fine. Ballsy yeah, dude, and it's, arrogant. It's it's, it's generally disgusting. <laughs> Fucking stop it. Like it, it. It's 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 hard to hard to read. Some of it's just hard to read. Like it's shocking. But yeah, but I definitely recommend folks out there. It's. It's rough to sometimes read some of the stories that happen to females. And yeah, I think there even might be some men's stories out there too. Uh, I know, and we're going to talk about uh, a, a person on Twitter, a name, uh, 
Rod Raslow, uh, he's slasher on Twitter. Uh, I, we have a tweet from him that we're going to be following along in a later story. Uh, but he, uh, uh, at slasher, he has a basically a full list of all the stories breaking down into the gaming community. So it's, as a man, it's nice to, it, not nice, but it's good to read those stories so you can kind of almost check yourself literally before you wreck yourself because it's and sometimes it's very cringe to read and it was probably even more cringe for the people to to read it or to to write it to put it on paper for the first time and speak up about it and it takes a lot of courage and for all of us guys uh and some and ladies as well i think it'll probably be a good thing to also be courageous to actually read it to read their experience and understand what we can do better with interactions to not make it so uncomfortable. I know a lot of people could say it's like, oh, it's just people being weak. It's all these millennials or just pussies. No, it's, it's like, it's no, it's really just trying to be a better person. Back in the day, women got their ass smacked just by walking around like, hey, lady. And it's like, ooh. And that was back then. What and, was it like? Uh, uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> And shut. Up. And it's and we just got we just need to grow and become better as time goes on. And now anxiety is just now more of a bigger thing. And we just have to just help people along with their anxiety. And these kinds of incidents just grows that anxiety more. Like they don't want to go out. They don't want to do anything. And so read it. I definitely recommend reading it. Reading the stories. Hashtag speaking out on Twitter. Go and read the stories from all these folks. And it's not to be read to condemn the people who did it. They should definitely be condemned, but it's not really our place to do that. It's we are reading the story to help the, to help them under, to understand what they went through. So for us in our interactions, we do not do the same that the, the, those men or people did. So we can better ourselves with our interactions. So, I mean, because not everybody is like a really likes to be disrespected. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. <sighs> she disrespects some... me just as much. So, yeah. she, fuck, yeah, she does. Uh, Probably we... more, to be honest. To be honest. Uh, so, we have a lot of gaming stuff to get through today. Woo! So, Stevie B, take it away. All right, sorry, I, my brain had to reboot. But listen, <laughs> uh, Trex is about to get into the new releases. Before we get into the new releases, we have to discuss with the people on YouTube uh, that you can also come watch the show live at twitch.tv slash nerds of the apocalypse. Twitch.tv slash nerds the apocalypse. It's okay, it's right beneath me. The Twitch people can't see it, but the YouTube people are able to see it. It's right there. Discuss the harass, ask Darwin, uh, 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 harassed. Uh, we're going to harass you people at YouTube. Don't forget, you can come watch us live. Consensual harassment. No, that's not a thing. No, it's not. Uh, Twitch, well, uh, for me and you. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Nerds of the Apocalypse. Uh, you can watch us live at Wednesdays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. We talk all the video games with us. Get your comments in. Get your statements in. And let's uh, let's have a good time talking about the video games and boy do we have a lot going on uh and don't forget to swing by our discord i know i was bringing up discord but uh so far since the last time i've done this show there have been two major console war battles break out that may or may not have been started by me i think one of them was started by me i, I don't there's one that i just watched happen and i was like yeah <laughs> so uh the xbox will always be better but let's move on what's coming out in the new game track New games that also includes the games from last week. Uh, Torch Light, Steam Early Access on PC, June 13th. Desperados 3 on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, June 16th. Disintegration on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, June 16th. Wait a minute. Isn't that the game that we saw at E3? The uh, No, uh, Disintegration. Uh, oh, isn't that about uh... like the robot dude? I feel like that was like well, a now I have to go look. Yes. 
Yes, you're going to oh. have to look as we as I continue on. Uh, oh, yeah, 100% is. Yeah, it's, it is. It, it, it came out last week? I guess so. It was so... That was so... Uh, did, the EA, have... did the EA Play Live really overshadow even a game launch? I guess so. Fuck. No one's talking about that game. No. Nope. Oh, man. Poor guys. Damn, Star Wars. Uh, the Waylanders. Steam Early Access on PC, June 16th. Hard Ship, I'm sorry, Hard Space Shipbreaker Steam Early Access on PC, June 16th. Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor expansion uh, on the Switch, June 17th. West of Dead on PC and Xbox One, June 18th. Wait a minute, isn't that the he the Hellboy video game? The Hellboy? The one that kind of looks like Hellboy? No, I mean, it's Ron Perlman doing the voice. Oh, um, <laughs> you got you got me looking at them shit. Uh, yeah, I do because like I'm just blown away that the... yeah, it's the one with like the Ghost Rider but on the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and Namco Museum Archives Volume One and Two on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch, June 18th. And The Last of Us Part Two Game of the Year, June. Uh, <laughs> most <laughs> controversial game in the history of controversial games ever in the world of controversial games. <laughs> that one on PS4 came out June 19th. Uh, and then Burnout Paradise remastered on the Switch June 19th. Coming out basically this week now. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. I, I guess, folks. I guess. Uh, I was like, there's there's so many people hyped for this game. I, and I was like, I guess. All I right. guess. Uh, it's a uh, PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch on June 23rd. Ninjala on the Switch, June 20, June, June 24. Damn it, my Switch is not in there. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> what? <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, on the Switch, June 24th. Uh, <laughs> Anno History. Collection on PC, June 25th. Are you fucking charged right now? Are you even plugged? You're not even plugged in. You didn't plug oh, Arwen said streaming that about SpongeBob. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Jacob and Jareth got that, I bet. Oh, boys. Okay. Um, yes. End of History Collection on PC, June 25th. Mr. Driller Drill Land on PC and the Switch, June 25th. And... Are you weebs ready? I can't hear you. Are you weebs ready? Yada! Fairy Tale on PC, PS4, and Switch. By the way, it's on PC, it's on Steam. Coming out June 26th. <laughs> I had to say it right. Look, I'm, they're talking about weebs and stuff. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> that doesn't stare at me. Like. Oh wait, the fairy tale did get picked. Uh, did get pushed back to July, didn't it? Did get, yeah, it got pushed back. Stop it. TV Weeby confirmed. No, not July. confirmed. <laughs> got got pushed back to July 30th. Oh, I'm sorry, Weebs. I'm gonna make that. Yeah, I'm gonna make this my profile pic. You have to make sure you like. No, you need to bring it closer, bro. You you gotta go. You're you gotta go real. Close. My face has to be close. Yeah. No, your fingers. You 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 have to put the peace sign. Oh. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's just. Tampok is raining with the party of three. Here they come. You want some more? Thank you, Tampok. We love you. You're the best. We, we'll get to June 30th releases next week. Yeah, what's what? Uh, June 30th. Even though June, June 30th is like, what, next Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. Yeah, so... uh, <laughs> is it Tuesday? I guess we could. I mean, I left that off. But what's coming out June 30th? I don't even know what the fuck's coming out June 30th. Ah, I think it's his uh, trail game. Or is that? I don't know. June 30th? Hold on. Luckily, I have quick access to literally everything. Uh, oh, there's nothing for June 30th. The next up game is July 1st is Trackmania. Whatever it is, it wasn't important enough for them to put on this website. Evening, Tim. Oh. Thanks for the raid, brother. You know you are the man, Tim. Look at him. Look at Tim being a man. Uh, okay, so check it out. What, what also not listed is Episode One Racer remastered on the fucking Switch and PS4. Can I get a yes for that? Yes for that. Yeah. 
Thanks, you just want to sit down and join us? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and <laughs> hashtag not trusting no to release list. Okay. Look, we get it from. Yeah. The, okay. Then from, we get it from no, VG two uh, VG twenty four seven dot com. So we literally just go there and copy paste the new releases into our doc raft. Uh, Cold Steel three switch release not on the list. Wait, Cold Steel 3 is coming on the Switch? I don't know what that is. What about 1 and 2? What Not that I'm excited for it or anything. <laughs> Pokemon Cafe came out from Rubble, I think. LOL. No, I no, just, just D. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep, D. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Raph, I'll tell you what. I'll try to see if you can find a more updated list, but when we were searching for one before we even started the game report, this seemed to be the best choice. So... Maybe I'll just start stealing lists from Greg Miller. Uh, there you go. Not stealing. I would definitely ask cordially because I love him. But okay. I would say he's actually going to respond to you, but he fucking has spoken to you all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Greg's the, Greg's the best. Sorry. He's so camera ready, you know? Just... He always is. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get right into our first bit of news that all Stevie's right. going to lead us into because I got to find a plug. <laughs> all right so i wanted to talk about this ps psvi spider-man miles morales okay let's talk about this miles morales game for a little bit all right now this isn't me uh, hating on the ps5 right what i don't like about this game is uh, uh well first off confirmed a standalone game it's biggest big, big uh, most of us don't already but in case you didn't it's confirmed as a standalone game but i would like to discuss whether or not it's coming out exclusively to the ps5 or not uh you're gonna say yes it is but i couldn't find anywhere on the internet where anybody officially from any site confirmed it as a PS5 exclusive. It was 100% confirmed as a Sony exclusive, without a doubt. But I haven't seen anywhere this game also won't be on the PS4. I saw articles uh, out that it's that it will be utilized like on the PS5, like a powerful utilization of the PS5, right? Uh, it, it's going to be uh, obviously a much better looking game on the PS5, but I didn't see anywhere that it's only coming out for the, for the PS5. There's been nothing that's confirmed for five. And let me tell you this. If it was confirmed for just the five, Sony would fucking say it. They would have said it. I don't like this kind of like uh, shadow marketing. I don't like the way they're trying to trick consumers into thinking they can only get Spider-Man on the PS5. I don't like that. You know what Microsoft does? They say, fuck it, man. You've been playing everything on our consoles, both of them, no matter what. Don't worry about it. All right. Sony's trying to be the side, like, like, like fucking sneaky, like sneaky sneaks. All right. They'll be on the PS3, 2, and 1. Also, I guess that's right. But they should get Spider-Man and Miles Morales on the PS5. That's right. Uh, true, it's a PlayStation says Nothing about 4 or 5. Yeah, they haven't said either one. Um, I personally think that it 100% will be on the 4. If it's not, that's uh, pretty dumb. Because you're obviously your client, pays, your client pays for release, especially when this game is set to release as a launch title. Uh, it'll be uh, only the people that got PS5s can play it, which I don't think is going to be the case. If this goes on Xbox Series, I'm switching to... Well, that's never going to happen. The, 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 this, this game will only be on the PlayStation, and that's it. Raph says, that's because Sony wants people to adopt a new system. Xbox doesn't want to give them a reason to adopt if they got the previous one, truck. Well, uh, so so it's okay to be deceptive in your marketing, because you want people to get the next PlayStation? Fuck out of here with that. I don't, that's that's no sir. I do not want that at all. I hope they'll put it on Steam someday. Uh no, I mean they they bought the the game they they bought Insomniac Games. Like Sony owns them. Like so I don't think it's uh Yes, it's marketing stuff and deception is part of it. Uh, it's still you won't see that kind of deception coming out of the Microsoft camp, Iron Sky. Okay? I'm just saying. Extra money, Stefan. That's right. I'm, I'm just saying. Why be deceptive? There's no reason for that. My Switch won't charge. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, so you say I can get it for free at Rapper? No. This shit for free. 
I don't know. So there you go. Like, I just I just want I, I know it's just a quick report. I don't know if you guys knew it was gonna be a standalone game. It's definitely gonna be a standalone game. It's gonna be shorter uh than the full game of the first Spider-Man. Uh, and it's probably going to be on PS4 as well. Don't let Sony deceive you. Okay. Don't let them deceive you. Don't let their deceptive marketing tactics deceive you. Or the leaks. Yeah, not too. You done? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> He's got that fresh tape, son. That fresh <laughs> tape. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, all right. So next up, you want you want to jump on this one? You you love to talk about these guys. Yep. Next up, we have Epic is making crossplay more feasible with Epic Ooh. Online Services. Coming here from Olivia Harris over at GameSpot.com. So. Epic is making the same tools that allow Fortnite to have crossplay across all platforms free for developers as part of Epic Online Services. Alongside the official announcement and the unveiling of the Unreal 5, uh, Unreal Engine 5 recently, Epic has revealed that it has finally launched a full version of the services with support for PC, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo, Switch, and Mac. Why is it say PC twice? They probably meant PlayStation 4. I got you, Olivia. I yeah, they you. did. Oh, damn. See see what happened here is Olivia got word of PlayStation's deceptive marketing <laughs> tactics. <laughs> and deliberately left them out. <laughs> <laughs> mobile support. Oh, <laughs> Mobile support for both Android and iOS. Thanks, Olivia. Thanks. You just fed it to us, conspiracy theory. <laughs> Woo. For both Android and iOS, we'll launch at a later date. Future support for Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 may well be in development. So, yes, Epic has truly been showing off that they are awesome. Uh, at Epic, we believe in integrated platforms and in the future of gaming being a highly social and connected experience, said Chris Dial, general manager of online services at Epic Games. Through the Epic online services, we strive to help build a user-friendly ecosystem for both developers and players, where creators can benefit regardless of how they choose to build and publish their games, and where players can play games with their friends and enjoy the same quality experience regardless of the hardware they own. That's Which true. means that on PC... Through the Epic Game Store. Fuck you, Steam. Oh, middle fingers. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't believe you said that. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where am I? The Stevie B who laughed. That's enough. <laughs> but it is cool that Epic is, uh, I mean, even on a business standpoint, Epic has definitely proven that Fortnite can be all over the goddamn place and even plugged into their. Uh, and everybody's able to truly cross play which is fantastic it would be awesome for developers to definitely take hold of this but as and hopefully maybe sony and even microsoft have just gotten off of whatever lawyer risk at high table that they're freaking on they can finally get off their butts and truly allow us to have true cross play between true games where, and so we don't have to pick and choose what platform we have to dedicate ourselves to and only be there instead of not be with everyone else. True. Oh, and said Fortnite fueled by dad's credit card. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, Epic game store in whole fueled by dad's credit card. Um, <laughs> It's amazing the stories you hear about kids that sell their parents' credit cards for Fortnite stuff. Like it's amazing when we hear our cop friends say it. I know. Oh, <laughs> that just made my it made my day at the same time. It's like, yeah, it's, oh my god, it makes it real when it happens yeah, to someone you know. Yeah, Showtime. Uh, Showtime actually got a, a, a dad called the cops on their son, and he had to go to the house. <laughs> like. Talk to the kid about his, his, he was like, what exactly do you want me to do, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your son to jail. Arrest him. I Put know, him in the like, paddy wagon. He was like, I think it was young, too. I can't remember. I oh, dude, he was, he, I think he was like eight years old. Yeah, it's like, dude, like, first off, just call him in as fraudulent. That's it. Get your card canceled. It's fine. Um, 
Someone come fix my switch. She won't turn on, and I'm scared. It better work, dude. You better have broke your switch. Dude, uh, I don't know how I did. It just sat it there. Uh, like, DC, like... come down with DCUO. Yeah, DC's like, put DCO on, on all platforms ASAP. Uh, I think Trex has gone into uh, like a long speech of why that probably won't work because of the game's economy or something. I don't know. I just remember that. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 I saw the battery signal. It's fully charged. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the game's economy is shite. Yeah, so. That would definitely hurt everything in, involved in it. But uh, calm down, D. Talk about Bleach and Moral Souls instead. <laughs> don't do Boom. that. Boom. I'm going to see if I can get a game. Hopefully, Nin Ninjalo is free to play. I don't think it is. Oh, don't hurt me like that. Okay. Uh, thank you, Epic. Hopefully, game developers actually take note for the games who actually have multiplayer. Coming up next, Google Stadia. <laughs> there you go, D. Google Stadia adds three RPGs, The Elder Scrolls Online, Windbound, and Christ Tales. Or Chris Tales. Sorry, wrong Christ. Chris oh Tales. <laughs> I think I think Christ Tales is probably filmed, uh, directed by Zack Snyder. Uh, drops uh, for premiere edition price to $99. So this is actually kind of a big deal. We already know Destiny 2 is on Stadia. And the three people who play it know it. That's right. Now Elder Scrolls Online is on Google Stadia. And even better, if you are in that uh, the premier tier, if you pay that service, you get to play Elder Scrolls for free. You don't even have to pay Elder Scrolls Online's monthly membership. You get to play really? it for free. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't you don't get to play it as a paid member though, right? I I don't know. As far as I know, I see you, you might you might. Let's uh let's let me see if I can actually go find it down here. Cause that was the thing. It's like uh let's see. Yeah, Google has proven its commitment to fledgling, but the platform really needs heavy hitters and Elder Scrolls Online is a good addition to the platform. Hopefully more to come soon. Yeah, this like didn't actually go into there it is. So it's the first yeah. MMORPG. You heard that right, Destiny yeah. players. <laughs> MMORPG on Stadia and it's free for pro subscribers. We've known the game was coming to Stadia for a long time, but the game is finally available today, and it includes the Morrowind chapter as free add-on content and supports cross-progression and cross-play with PC and Mac. Not console. No. Doesn't it, isn't it cross-play on the consoles with the PC? So how the fuck does that work? I don't know. Uh, uh, that's cool. Um, I don't think anybody currently playing Elder Scrolls Online on their computer is going, oh, well, shit, now I'm getting Google Stadia. <laughs> Actually, oh my God. what if I was to tell you I know someone with Google Stadia, and Who? he actually likes it? Who? My uh, coworker. Well, ex-coworker, because we sold a company, but my buddy Chris. Does he have bomb internet? Yes, he actually has he has the Google Mesh uh Google Mesh all over his house. He actually okay. just installed another one. Oh, I have uh I have Mesh, but not Google. That's, yeah, Mesh he, is great. It yeah, he has great like the whole fantastic. Uh he has the Google Nest and the Google Home and all the whole Google stuff. And so because he had all that stuff, he like got Stadia basically like for a few more months for free. And so he went ahead and picked up a controller for it. And he actually asked me, he's like, how's Elder Scrolls? I'm like, oh, it's a pretty good game. He's like, well, the online's for Stadia. I'm like, what did you just say? What did you just tell me? I know. Uh, let's see. Uh, DSD said, so all you got to do is transfer over and save up 50 gigabytes plus. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know, because, like, it's not, it's streaming. So, like, you don't have to download anything. I don't know. Um, if you, I don't know if you have... Um, I don't like the people that like work off data limits on the internet would fucking kill me if I had to do that. Yeah. I don't think I get throttled, but maybe I do. I don't know. Um, but I couldn't imagine getting data cap on my fucking home internet. I do so much stuff. Uh, Epic Looker says, sounds like the base game, no sub perks. Yeah. I, th I think that maybe this is misleading. It's a misleading. Well, don't you. Is Elder Scrolls Online a free-to-play game? Yes. 
Oh yeah. Oh 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 no oh, oh, no 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 no. Uh, I wait. You still have to per. It's like a, you just like Final Fantasy fourteen. Like you have to purchase it first, right? Well, this says you get it. It's free for that's, post subscribers. That's, that's why I think I'm saying there. You, you don't have to buy it. You get it free with your pro subscription, but you're yeah. playing the free version. Um, so it makes me wonder no how long. Uh, well, it sounds like you're going to be able to play the free version, like once, because like once you buy the base game, you have it, right? So as long as you're on Google Stadia, you have it. I don't know. It's it's already confusing, so it's already not worth it. <laughs> like, it's already like fuck. ESO is buy to play. So just like Final Fantasy fourteen. So instead of no, ESO sta- is free to play. I, I promise you all, ESO is free to play. I've played it in the in its free to play form. Honest to God, I have. It's free to play. I don't have enough hands. I got my I got my switch in my hands. I can't research it. So. ESO is free to play. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jared. Yeah, I promise ESO. I mean, I've I've I played it. I downloaded it. Uh, a few so it makes ago. me wonder oh, then what exactly are pro subscribers getting? Yeah, exactly. It's like Epic said. I think it's the base game. Like you know, with the Morrowind chapter. Yeah, so you're getting that too, but you're playing it. Oh uh, yeah. shit, son! Yeah, it, it launched uh, by to play, and then they were like, "Oh fuck, we should probably switch to a free to play model pretty quickly." Oh so shit, like, bro! Oh damn, that so Pokemon like, Cafe is free to download too. Calm it down. We got a show to do. Well, Ninjala is also free to download. Go ahead and pick oh, that up. God. <laughs> the game developer is Gung Ho Gung Ho Online. That's neat. Did you also get two other games that I've never heard of. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> uh, Windbound and Chris Tales. Chris Tales was actually, uh, it was shown. Oh my god, we've had so many freaking developer stuff. It's crazy. My my brain's just freezing right now. I know. But we have seen Chris Tales because it was a. It was during the video package with one of the Jesus, one of the things that we covered. I think it actually wind, might be on the PC gaming show. I think wind, okay, I'm watching Windbound. It looks like a uh it's very Windy uh, Breath, of, Breath of the Wild. Or yeah, so new game uh next new game announces the RPG Windbound. The game puts you in the role of a warrior caught at sea in a storm and adrift from your tribe. You crash on a mysterious island, and you must explore, adapt, and navigate the land and, peri- and perilous seas to stay alive. Windbound is coming to Stadia August 28th. And then Chris Tales uh, is a JRPG coming to Stadia on November 17th. The game is billed as a love layer to classic JRPGs and deals with viewing time in different ways. Your character can peer into the past, act in the present, and watch his choices change the future. It features 2D hand-drawn animation. I do remember this, because it was basically your one yeah. character. You were able to see all three, the uh, past, present, and the future. Right. And the gameplay looks just like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, rather. Uh, Raphrime, I'll have you know I'm not logged into Final Fantasy XIV right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> I logged out right before we started. All right, so those are three games uh, announced for Stadia. Uh, congratulations, ESO, for jumping onto a new platform. Uh, I'll see you in GeForce now. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know how many people this is going to entice to come over to Google Stadia. Probably not very many. Uh, I do believe these are... Well, I mean, it's, uh, this is also... Uh, another part of the news for it as well, in addition, the cost of the Stadia Premier Edition starter kit has been dropped to nine uh, to $99 following the end of the three-month pro trial. Cool. So it might be a little cheaper, but you never know. Still, uh, GeForce Now, it's free. Coming up next, so last week, there was a Pokemon Presents, and some, some stuff dropped during oh, that Pokemon snap. Presents. First is the return of Pokemon Snap coming to Nintendo Switch. Did you play the Pokemon Snap on the N64? I never owned it, but I had friends who had it. So I'm in that I same played, boat. I played it a little bit at a friend's house. To be honest, I was in the camp of like mad as hell that they were making games like this 
but not a 3D version of the actual Game Boy game, right? Yeah. So I played Pokemon Snap, but I never got it right. Um, it, it's I, I I don't want I don't want to trash talk it because I know people love it, right? It's just not for me. It's just not for. Me. Yeah, um, I didn't really get the fascination of the first one. Yeah, it was. It was I, all I could think was, wait, I'm not catching them. My friends are no, no, you're just taking pictures of them. You find them out in a while. But I'm not. I'm not catching them and battling with <laughs> no, them. No, bro, you're you're capture. You're taking a picture of them in their natural habitat. I was I was like I was like yeah but like once once we snap the photo do you throw a pokeball and catch it? <laughs> and, and battle them? I'm like nah man you just take a fucking dope picture. Just take a fucking dope picture. I'm like all right. Okay, sweet. But yeah, so uh it's going to be an all new adventure inspired by the classic N64 game. Grab your camera and get ready to photo- uh to photograph Pokemon while exploring blue- beautiful islands on Nintendo Switch. So if you like the N64 game, or if you have a child that never got to experience the N64 version, here you go. You get to steal this game that your kid will never play because you as an adult is going to play it more than your child because you want to keep playing Pokemon Snap and not let the new generation have a chance at it. Am I... Sorry, I think I was I think I was projecting there. Are you okay? <laughs> I think I'm good. All right. <laughs> uh, so welcome back, a, Pokemon a... Snap. Uh, the other bit of news from that as well, I, uh, the article doesn't really go into it, is uh, Pokemon Cafe, which I have no idea even how to fucking explain it. But it's on Nintendo Switch. It's for free. Yeah, I guess if you like Bejeweled, you'll like Pokemon Cafe. There you go. I, I, I wish I had more. <laughs> and so oh, and mobile the, too. Yeah, Pokemon Cafe is coming on mobile too. Oh, and mobile too. Sorry. Thank you, D. He's our Pokemon expert. Uh, and so with the end of Pokemon presents last week, they teased that this week as we, as is recording, they were going to show another Pokemon game, another Pokemon announcement. And even on that same regard, a little bit, a uh, new smash character coming out for smash brothers is Min Min from arms. The game that everybody forgot. Yeah, Wait. dude. I was like, Wait, what, what game? And I was like, Oh yeah. The game with the. Oh, okay. bringing arms. Yeah. It was that launch style that no one gave a shit about. Got it, got it. <laughs> New IP, and you just got to take risks. Here's to the sequel, okay. folks. So, okay. today, mm. I forgot about Pokemon Presents, but Twitter this was, didn't. This was spicy today, boy. This, this was, was a spicy. It's spicy. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Pokemon game is a MOBA for Switch and mobile called Pokemon Unite. Um, can I be honest with you? Yes, sir. I I watched the they they did it during the uh presentation. They actually had people play it and I was like I could actually get into this. I'd never played a mobile before. Well, I played a couple of mobiles with you, but that's the only time I ever played. Is when you were like, hey, try this mobile out. And I was like, okay. And I played a couple of times. But like, I never really played a mobile before. And this actually didn't look too bad to me. I thought it looked pretty good. And it's going to be free to, to start, right? Of course, it's not going to be free, free, right? Like, they're like, oh, you're going to buy hats and stuff. I was like, you guys, you're going to be buying your Pokemon. Fuck out of here. Like, everybody's like, oh. I was like, no, you're going to be buying your Pokemon to play with. Like, stop it. It's supposed to be like every other mobile out there. You're going to be buying your character. That's how well, I mean, most of the characters you you'll have like a uh, a legend pack, like you can actually like you, for like, as name for Smite, you can pick up the ultimate god pack and that actually unlocks all the gods for yeah, basically like maybe 40, 60 bucks, and you buy it all, right. and then you also get the other new gods that come out with it as well. Right. So it'd be something like that, right? So, uh, and like I thought it was really cool. Like the better you do in the game, if you're like playing as 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 Charmander, you, you'll evolve the Charmeleon and then Charizard. Like, that's pretty, pretty fucking dope. Um, and then, and so for me, <laughs> and y'all are gonna be like, well, I'm pretty, like, MOBAs are always very complicated to me. This is pretty simplistic. You know, it's made for fucking, so kids can play it too. So <laughs> I was like, I'm into it. It's, it's fairly simple. Like, uh, and it looked fun. 
You know, other mobile communities are pretty toxic, so hopefully the, this community isn't. But like, oh luckily, yeah. You're, <laughs> but luckily, you're not gonna. No one's at the computer being like, "You suck." You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you get on voice with people. They might. Like, oh my god, you're feeding. Yeah, yeah, I'm eating right now. God. Machete says, "Okay, I missed a lot. What is this? This is the new Pokemon MOBA game that they announced today. Pokemon Unite." So um, I'm not gonna say I watched the trailer a lot especially when in that 11 minute tra uh announcement video they showed off an actual 5v5 game not the yeah. entire thing but just like yeah. snips and pieces here and there uh and so yeah it is a over-the-top moba game uh coming for switch and the mobile you'll choose the character you want to play as you'll have an actual set ability list and every uh everything that you of course will get as you unlock things as you level up one of the cool things i definitely love about it is like see you got blastoise and you have gengar i uh, didn't show up for gengar but most likely it's going to be the same way where at level one you're going to start off as a squirtle and then as you gain levels playing the game you will evolve into war turtle and then finally into blastoise and wherein Blastoise is going to have an actual special ability that you basically a quote unquote ultimate to hit targets. So you know I you know I just said that, right? Yep. Okay. Just checking. You just you just didn't use the mobile the, the MOBA vernacular. Oh, excuse the fuck out of me, bud. <laughs> the momacular is what we call it, the momacular. I forced that and it worked. So did, I, I will agree. This actually super entices me. And because one, I am a Pokemon fan. Two, I am a MOBA fan. And it brings it all really together for me a little bit. Uh, the, there's going to be stations that I really like that, that you can, uh, markers on the ground that you have to capture points of course, on the map, but they can also, there's going to be some that can heal you as well. So it's not like I have to go out there and actually have a potion. And, what you can also do in the in the field is you defeat enemies and you can catch Pokemon. That's right. That's how, that's how, that's how you win, right? You catch the Pokemon, and that's uh that's what you level up. For. You have to catch the Pokemon and bring it to the to the other player's base, right? That's how I think I don't know. Yeah, I believe that's how it went down. Uh, I will say this though: uh, uh, the internet not taking kindly to it. The YouTube video currently has fifty-two thousand downvotes and seventeen thousand upvotes. That's a big difference. Uh, maybe because something we've left out is that it's uh, being produced by Tencent. <laughs> so yeah, uh, of... so woo. There's that to to talk about. Like they're not exactly the best. No, they're not ethically uh so there's that to think about when you go to play this game as well yes and remember that tencent is known for honor of kings a moba a mobile moba that's extremely popular in china as well as holding large stake in riot games the studio behind league of legends and tencent also works with has her hands in other american game companies too True. but uh said, Trex, don't forget about pokemon sleep i don't even know what that is i don't fucking know what that is it's probably the same as home. Just one of those things. Oh. But yeah, I am definitely keeping an eye out for for a chance to try and scoop myself into into that. Cause I really I really do want to get hands on with it and actually see how it plays, how it really functions. Uh, most most MOBA games that you can see that you see out there, uh, in League of Legends and Smite, they normally range from like twenty to thirty minutes. So whether or not Pokemon Unite kind of keeps that same mentality of it, you might sit there for a 20 minute fight or it might be geared to only lasting for maybe like 10 to 15, you know, unless you're like two teams are really doing really good. It's like, oh, then you're just like, all right, who's going to screw up first? But I am, uh, I am excited. I'm not going to be part of the haters. It was, it was certainly not the, Thing that ever because that's also the other thing that people are also downvoting it too because people are expecting all right here comes some gen 5 news about a re-release for diamond and pearl re-release for unovo pokemon more pokemon go news nope here comes a moba game and everybody was disappointed and that's what those downvotes are about those are about disappointments not the actual that they don't like the game they're just more disappointed and it's okay yeah. to be disappointed. 
that's also the marketing, right? Like we're leaving one game out to have a, its own presentation next week. That's like, oh fuck, Pokemon, Pokemon, let's go too. Yeah, it was only like oh, eleven. Shit. It was eleven minute announcement too. Like, oh shit, oh shit, a, 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 a Gen Four remake. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. And uh, then we got that. Yeah. So I can see people being upset of that marketing. It's just you know they're just following suit with Sony with that shady ass marketing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just following suit, boys. Following suit. They, they Miles Morales this, boys. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Next bit of news, somber as it is, Cyberpunk 2077 has been pushed back Ooh. from seven from September 17th to the Xbox Series X launch date of November 19th. I mean, it's just coming out November no. 19th. Listen, when <laughs> this, the, the second this hit, I think Trax and I simultaneously said, well, it looks like the Series X is coming out November nineteenth. Yeah. Like because it, it, it's 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 absolutely fucking obvious, right? Like it's so fucking obvious, right? Like it's it's beyond obvious that Microsoft probably was like, "Yo, here's a cool mill. <laughs> Push the game back another two months, please." Uh, and it sucks because they got that special edition One X, and it's just like, "Well, you should have made a special edition fucking Series X." Um, <laughs> so it. Oh man, like I was just like, all right. I mean, it's they're like, oh, it's pushed back to you know in this article and in, in the statement they made, it's pushed back to more policy open world. No, it's not. It's pushed back more so you can launch on the release date of the new consoles, so you can like. We make know sure what you're doing, CD Projekt Red. I mean, you're pretty. Right. We're we're definitely ninety percent. We're. 50%, 60% sure that it's definitely yeah. so you can polish the game, but the other percentage is definitely you're launching with a, with a new console. That's right. Uh, Orange said the game literally says 27.7. We're not going to 27.7. That's right. <laughs> All uh, right. So, Microsoft, you, you check it. Cyberpunk available day one on Series X. So, ever check it out. Bitches edition on the One X for Cyber. Yeah, that, that's that's confusing because they've actually uh, sent a bunch of those One Xs to influencers. Like, there, there's people that have this 1X console that they just can't access the game yet. Yep. Uh, which, which is weird. Yeah. So now it's like, now if you got that 1X and you're like, well, fuck. Well, I guess you still have access to it, right? Because of the... Uh, well, I mean, if it's gone to the influencers, because this is what also is intriguing, too, is that this week, starting on the 25th, because that is when the Night City Wire their stream to show off cyberpunk 2077 again this is going to be their stream to show off the game and everything after the stream is done journalists from all over the world are going to start or starting to independently play the game we're eager and quite stressed to hear their opinions as well as see their reactions when they when they publish their previews right after we air night city wire on the 25th of june so i think as soon as that broadcast is done we are going to see everyone blow up with reviews on this game. Yeah, I'm not going to get access to the full thing, though, right? They're going to be playing a preview. Yeah, probably. I mean, it wouldn't... Yeah. I mean, yeah. My so, thing is, like, still, if the influencers be, got it, yeah. they probably may have actually gotten one of those yeah. review copies as well. Yeah. So it's... It's, uh, it's happening, boys. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is a pushback on purpose. Uh, wireless steel series headphones started punk edition seven. No, I don't want to get the. I don't want to get. I don't want to get any branded anything. The steel series. I probably. I'm probably am gonna get the steel series wireless though, but not the cyberpunk edition. Because what if the game is shit? There's a chance the game could be shit. No to review copy. Listen, we're almost there. Okay. <laughs> Just give us a few more months. All right. Yes, Nerds of the Apocalypse, brought to you by Kind of Funny Games. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Hey, sometimes the demo works. I remember playing the Final Fantasy demo got me more hype for Final Fantasy Remake. Excuse me, I need to go replay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, demos do work, but I mean, they're not going to be for us. They're going to be for the influencers. Yeah. So. Which, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We just influenced you. Boom. Boom. I'm excited for this. So, we just have to wait for November 19th, and sure enough, we are definitely going to be waiting to hear some news about when the next consoles will be coming out there as well uh trex you have reply for or hear anything about getting one for ft what's ft uh, uh fairy tale 
Uh, um, I'm going to look up. I'm going to relook that back up and make sure it actually went through because I filled it out. I haven't heard shit. But of course, me not streaming this past week or so is definitely probably not helping. But uh, just, I guess, haven't. Every time I'm trying to stream, it's like I just get hit with like not really depression. Like I'm just shut down. It's like I have nothing to play. I have no mood to play like anything. And I get like that sometimes too. I totally get it. Yeah, it's it's just sometimes I just need to just turn the stream on. Just probably just start the stream off with just chatting, and then we'll build ourselves into a game. Probably I don't know. I've done that a couple of times. It helps. It helps when I'm feeling sad. Rasp yeah. been there for me a couple of times. No, fuck Final Fantasy Seven. <laughs> uh, actually, I can't say that because I let my boss borrow my PlayStation Four. He's like, Mike, 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 can I borrow your PlayStation Four? In return. I will buy you Final Fantasy 14 or Final Fantasy 7 and there's another uh and I think oh god and I think God of War but I think my our coworker's going to let him borrow that so he's not going to get that but he was going to play Final Fantasy 7 and one of the other PlayStation 4 exclusives maybe the Spider-Man game but uh yeah I'm like so you're going to buy two games so you can play them on my PlayStation that I'm going to get the games for free so I can play them on my PlayStation yeah. yeah, Ben, this is like uh, a very good trade. That sounds like a great deal. <laughs> that was an amazing deal. <laughs> nudge, nudge to all you friends out there. Yeah. Next up, it was that linked. like a typical Stevie B stream. What, depression? Fucking <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> At that moment, I just needed Heather going, yup. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, starting off with just chatting. Yeah, I do that. I do that. I do start off with just chatting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so first up, uh, or not first up, but next game coming up is Crash Bandicoot <laughs> 4. It's about time. Rated for <laughs> PS4 and Xbox One in Taiwan. Okay, so hold on. Now, what's happened here? Because I thought, and I'm not, I'm not saying this to entice, re-entice the console war, but I thought Crash Bandicoot was a Sony title. It is a Sony title. So what's this about? I don't know. Oh. Did you not watch the trailer? <laughs> yeah, no, I did. Yeah, but it was so weird. So, yeah. I it's... said no. I actually thought the same. Oh. Looked it into it. Oh, okay. I guess not. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, it's I just, basically, I... yeah, so it's it seems like it's definitely coming out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Well, I mean, uh, it has the fucking case at the top of this article. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I can easily be photo. Fo- I mean, it's, oh, it also Crash- even says Series X too. Holy shit! That's right. Crash and Spyro are both. That's right. They're on different consoles now. Crash yep. was a Naughty Dog title before they were bought by Sony. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, if you do like some Crash Bandicoot platforming games, there you go, Chiefs. Moving on. Got nothing else. Uh, tri- uh, Trials of Cold Steel, uh, number oh. IV, Look, English we could release. We not talk about this because we know how you we love this game here in the Nerds and Positive community, so we had to talk about this. Yeah, so Trials of Cold Steel 4, English release is set for October 27th. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Aaron said, we... Yeah, it's been out for two years in Japan, right? So oh, shit, I read what? this article. Oh, my God, just... Re- yeah. yeah. <laughs> The way is over just remember two years since it's, in, in, since it's after it's Japan to be sorry. The Legend of Heroes Tropical so for English release date has been set. So I thought that was uh pretty cool. October twenty seventh. Um I watched Raph play Raph, Raph played Raph stream three for a while and I would watch mm-hmm. it sometimes and uh like I feel like I, I should only play like one super weeb game at a fucking time. But uh that other one I'm playing is very like what's what other weeb game are you playing? The one on the Switch. Oh, Xenoblade. Yes. And uh, I just, I just thought it was, it was nice and turn based, and yeah. So I don't know. Like I, I feel like in a few years, I'm gonna be just like this fucking mega weep. I feel like you guys are gonna like turn me. So I'm trying not to that to happen, right? Bro, because, bro, you like, know. Sure, let me, let me sure tell that. you when you know you'll be a weeb. What? Tell me. You'll be a weeb when you're sitting there and you hear something and stay and saying what you're going to say, Nani. That's when, and that's the Japanese for what? 
that's when you'll I, know. Uh, you know, uh, right now, and I, 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 I tease this to you guys earlier. I do have an anime downloaded to watch that I was going to watch an episode a week and then talk to you about it on a stream a week. But I haven't watched it yet because I'm like, I, like I'm, I'm afraid. Like I'm like I'm fucking Ray in episode uh, episode seven. Like afraid that I'm like I like threw the lightsaber back in the box. Like I'm not fucking ready, boys. Okay, Nani emote? No, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Um, and plus, listen, my wife, you guys would viciously make fun of me. That's a healthy relationship. Yeah. It did. In a fun way, in a fun way. Uh, no, that's the anime he downloaded. He, or I mean, he fell off the back of a truck. And let's ask, the, let's ask the source. Yeah, it fell off the back of a truck. Exactly. Let's ask the source. If I started watching anime and got a little weeby, would you start making fun of me? Uh, not fun of you, but there will be um, consequences. How so? Because. I experimented a little bit in anime oh, no. in college. It's not a drug, Heather. Let it go. Yeah, the trick said it's not a drug. <laughs> I did. You're right, Heather. I was just a little curious. <laughs> what? Heather. Uh, Heather had a roommate. In case you're roommate. wondering, we were watching Peach. But yeah, Wait, I what? what yeah. So Heather had this. Friend, Wait, no, huh? What was the anime? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll get there. Heather had this friend that she's known for a long time. They ended up in the same college together at uh, Winthrop down here in South Carolina. And uh, so she would hang out in her dorm room, and they'd be they'd sit around and start watching Peach. Yeah, her roommate. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I still don't Peach? know what it is. Her roommate watched. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, so everybody started watching. Yeah. Her. Uh, Raph said, I mean, would it be any different than her making fun of you for being nerdy with Star Wars? She doesn't make fun of me too bad. I guess she kind of does. Uh, if I get too crazy let's with see, it. Let's see, let's Star, see. Star Wars, Final Fantasy. That's kind of, that's kind of, borderline hey, weed. Hey, hang on. Okay, sorry. Star Wars, Final Fantasy, Resident Evil have always been. That's, that's true. And then, when I was pregnant with Elena, you started roommate. I did do that. And then you were LARPing at a con. Oh, God, I did do that, too. We all did, to be fair. The whole Noda gang. Uh, don't bring me like... to this. You did, you did it, too. What did I do? Oh, oh tracks? tracks, yeah. You played that game with us. With the swords and stuff, right? You played it, too. Oh, yeah! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you're good. I did that. Heart. Peter and bra. Nice. No, you're going to be, like, watching Japanese videos, trying to, like, learn the language. You don't have to read the subtitle. Well, to be fair, learning Japanese would be a very good social skill. It is. A and it could give me a job. I know how to ask for the restaurant. Raph said, did she just say you were LARPing at a con? No, it wasn't Bruh. really LARPing. What yeah, was... okay, let's, 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 let's clarify the LARP that Heather's talking about. It wasn't full-blown LARPing, boys. Okay, listen. Uh, I, what was the name of the game? It was a game. They got him with the lightsabers, you guys. True. Uh, it was. Uh, it's called da uh, Dagadin. Something. It's something along. Yeah, it's lines, like right? Dagadin, where it was basically these guys. They LARP, but what they were doing was talking to us about the LARP community, about Dagadin, and then we got to hit everybody with like uh, foam swords and foam shields and shit. Right. So they gave us foam weapons. And we each had teams, and you'd start on a line, and, like, you'd have to, you ran in on each other. If you hit arms, you had to fight with one arm. If you took a body shot, that was it. You were out. If you took a leg shot, you had to hop around. Uh, it was like that. It was a flesh right? wound. Yeah, so, yeah, if you, it was just a flesh wound, you're good. But if you got hit in the body, that was that. And uh, Showtime was way into it, yelled out many things that I don't even know what he was yelling. It was probably anime shit, probably some weep shit. Uh, <laughs> Probably get it. Yeah, you wait, no, no, fuck you. Anyway, uh, no, uh I found uh, anime. I found Heather's uh anime. Uh, you found, oh you it, did? It, yeah, it was Peach Girl, a Peach high school Girl. drama centered yeah, around yeah. the character Momo Adachi, 
her love life, friendships, and rivalries. Uh, hold on. Still, you guys are saying it's still LARPing. Yeah, it's uh, definitely still LARPing. LARPing. Acting for people who suck at adding. I take offense to that. I do as well. My classical acting that I've taken, taken, taken. All right. So there you go. Yes, we sort of LARPed at a definitely. Go work. Yeah, because we did. That wasn't the only con we did that. There was also this other game, right? It was like a chess epic. game. What was the chess game? What was the name of that? Oh, uh, that was cosplay chess. Yeah. So essentially, like two people control. They had it was like this huge open floor, and it was like a checkered board that everybody stood on, right? And uh, so you pretty much got to act out your cosplays. Right, so of course we're there in like full Nota gear, right? At that point, we're just like the podcast, we're not Twitch streamers or anything yet. We're just there to like record a show and talk to people, right? That's right. And uh, so Showtime and I joined, and when 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 you when the person playing you uh, moves you and you kill somebody, you have to act out how you kill them, right? And so uh, Trex or not Trex, Showtime and I, we did it as one square. And we would, uh, Jesus Christ, we would, act like, we would act like paparazzi to whoever this character was and ask them all kinds of questions about they're, their character until the, they're until they ran away. They were doing their job as interviewers as their as the fight scene. It was hilarious <laughs> until they ran away or passed out on the floor or something. It was, it was very fun. I had a good time with that. Uh, reminds me back in high school when these kids in the soccer field laughing run around like Naruto. Good luck. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We had a good time. Wait, you meant you went to high school with Trex on? Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't uh, run like that. Yeah, not to mention you wouldn't have caught Trex ever in the soccer field. Uh, so I did. Sports all right, <laughs> in sports like things. Anyways, yeah. Big biggest thing that I definitely want to talk about and show off a little bit: Marvel's Adventures game War Table reveals Thor gameplay, Modok War Zones, and more. <sighs> So okay, so can I can I make a comment about this real quick? I just want to say this before you get into this, right? Okay. Before before this, I was not that interested in this game. After this, I was insanely interested in this. Go on. So I have not watched the full. What is it like an hour long kind of a thing? Yeah, I watched about half of it. Okay, so I haven't watched a full hour because uh, I was watching another stream talking about uh, upcoming casters and getting into esports because. Exactly. That was pretty cool. Uh, so I haven't watched anything of this. Stevie B definitely broke down some stuff in group chat by, or yeah, in yeah. our chat, but I ignored it. Uh, <laughs> not on purpose, but I'm like, I skimmed it. I'm like, cool deal. Uh, and I had to go back to work. So what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to watch, we're going to watch this two minute, 31 minute trailer. Two, two minute, 31 second trailer. Uh, and I don't like doing it for the first, but you guys are going to see the live reaction of me for this game, for the story. Trailer. I hate doing reaction videos, but here's a reaction video. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to unmute the stream now so I can watch it on a delay. <laughs> so I can watch on delay. Okay. So here it is, guys. Let's take a look at the story trailer for Marvel's Avengers. Well, War Table, I guess. I don't know what the fuck it wants to call itself. <laughs> When I was young, I you found an orphaned wolf cub fun. in the forest behind our farm. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me. We're fixing the damage the Avengers did all those years ago. Inhumans are sick. Unlimited power, that's dangerous. It's lethal. You are lucky to be alive. Come on, Kamala. Let AIM help you. I'll take my chances. What if the Avengers were set up? I think you should Who's the big head? 
Mr. Stark help us with this? Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? This better be good. He totally locked the cap in the reactor room and then he tried to jack the Chimera. Son of a... Have you all completely lost your senses? What? Where were you while the world went to hell? This is our fault. All of ours. You really think the world is better without us? Yes. See, it's always been your problem. Running from who you are, what you are. I am wanting you. This is exactly what Tarleton wants! The who wants? The unstoppable time. Turtle, Carlton. Avengers. Shit, is that a bomb? It has to be destroyed. I will rid the earth. Oh, that's a good suit. Even if it has to end with me. It's just got a whole lot weirder. All right. That was pretty cool. So Modok and AIM is, I think we definitely knew AIM was going to be the villain. Right. Uh, and so this is going to be the evolution of Modok. Right. So it looks like what, what has happened is right. We, we, you know, when we first got introduced to this game, we saw like the big explosion and stuff that happened, right? It looks like it was the end of Avengers and shield and AIM has risen up to take its place. Right. Obviously, Aim is not good. So, and I think it's been five years. So you're essentially like rebuilding the Avengers from the ground up, right? Like that's that's the goal on that. I uh, know that was Hulk's old enemy. I forgot his name. Uh, he dated. That was a bomb. Abomination. Um. So yes. Yeah, so uh, it looks it looks really good. I I did see though, and this isn't 100 percent confirmed. It's like what people thought from watching this. Is that the whole game is not going to be co-op? There's just going to be co-op section. Um, there's there there's going to be a lot of single player stuff, but there's also going to be some co-op thing. Uh, and and that's going to be like you go into like a room and then people spawn in with you, and you, you select your loadout and your costume and stuff. There's also a bunch of costumes. I think they said like thirty plus costumes at launch for each character, not right off the rip, but like unlockable. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And there's so much different gear you can get. Like, the gear is very Destiny-like uh, when it comes to setting it up and things like that. Oh, you're watching the gameplay trailer right now? Yeah. Yes, yeah, well, this, so this, this is the Thor gameplay. I haven't muted. This, this is what I watched. Uh, I watched the Thor gameplay. It looks pretty good. Uh, Thor would definitely not be the first person I play with. So, um, uh, I might force you to, though, because I think this is all in the single-player stuff, right? Because yes. they... Uh, I don't think that these parts are co-op because there there's like a whole I can't remember what they called them but there was a whole co-op section uh which is fine and it did confirm four player co-op cuz some people were uh questioning that. So uh and, and the, they showed a lot of the costumes too during the uh after this like when they start going over things and stuff like that they showed a bunch of the different costumes. There's a, there's a lot of different uh outfits and stuff you can wear which is pretty dope. So is there uh, no HUD for this? Uh, there is a HUD. They just are keeping the cinematic. No, this well, is game. Th this is the actual game, right? So I watched. I watched Game Informer watch it, like, uh, and, like do their live stream on it, and one of them has played it, and he said that this must be for cinematics because there definitely was a HUD when he played to pick the different moves and stuff like that. Okay. Um. He 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 said he thinks that they removed the HUD for this just to keep the cinematic look to it. Well, they suck. Maybe. Maybe there'll be like a no no HUD version. Um, so okay, so but, the the co op stuff is called the War Zones. So let's take a look at right. the War Zones trailer then. I'll turn the sound off. That is just a an ad for that bikini bomb game. So go ahead and continue. Uh oh, you are getting an ad for the bikini bomb. Um, so yeah, so it looked it looked really good, and it's looked like it's got a pretty good story. Uh, and one other thing they said at the end was uh. In a future date, they're going to be showing off their uh, their first post-launch 
character, so they are going to be adding a lot of stuff to it, right? Um, and and they also talked about uh, they'll show it during this trailer, but like the different ways you can play. Like they they said that like your Iron Man and my Iron Man will be completely different because all the different loadouts you can do. And stuff like that. Uh, like you, you can send them to be ranged, you can send them to be physical, uh, things things like that. And like that like there's like a they even showed off like a a gamma device that you can put on Iron Man, which turns all those lasers green. It's just, it's just like, it's, it's pretty intense with detail. Honestly, from watching everything, this feels like Marvel Ultimate Alliance on steroids. It, it really, it, it feels like it's uh, like a much upgraded Ultimate Alliance. Uh, it just seems that way to me. And I, I don't think you'll have control of the other characters while you play single player. They didn't really talk about that. Um, I think they said they'll be AI. I don't know if you're able to switch between them or not, but like it just, it, it feels like Ultimate Alliance a lot because there's a lot of combo moves you can do. Uh, just like you can in Ultimate Alliance. Like there's just like uh, move combinations you can make. Uh, you know, the one thing, I know this is kind of like completely for what I'm talking about. One thing is the Captain America thing, right? I just think that that's interesting because it's almost like them going off the whole Superman's dead after yeah. BBS, right? It's like obviously Captain America's not dead, right? Uh, I guess it's just gonna be fun in the story to see how he comes back and how they unlock him and stuff like that. Because uh, he's obviously coming back, but like the whole point is, is like Captain America died, so we end up the Avengers and we end up shield and shit. Um, so it's very good. Uh, confirm Maria Hill's in it. She's she's the one helping you uh, rebuild, and you are going to be like as you progress through the game, rebuilding the helicarrier. Uh, I forget what they called the thing itself, but it's like a down helicarrier that you're going to help rebuild and eventually like fly and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. I really like that. I like that uh, that progression in games. I like to see that. Um, so, so yeah, just it got and like the Iron Man uh, out, uh, uh, suits are fucking now, crazy. Like they're Warzone's. really cool, and like all the different things you can do. Even Hulk, like all, like they at one point during the gameplay video, some they were playing as Planet, like Warzone's the Planet Hulk missions, model. So that was really cool. Ooh, it'd be cool if I can get the Gray Hulk. Solo with I'm AI sure you can, dude. I'm sure they'll have Red Hulk, Gray Hulk, but like. Heroes, oh, uh, not not red, not, zones, not red. That would need to be like a whole separate with your character. That's true. On your well, I mean, they could do red as a skin. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, us fanboys will be like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a fucking the minute. Trailer, um, mission is grounded in story. So oh my god, is that being narrated by Will Wheaton? To to is it? I don't, know. The resistance. I don't think so. You get missions from Jarvis, Marino, no, it's not. Hank Pym, Man, that's and totally Wheaton. From Marvel history. It might be. Once you pick your mission, you'll board the Quinjet. So yeah, so when it's you like you're kind of thrust in this world where like aim is taking your shield's loadout, place. And of course, pick and the right look to, uh, and attitude for the job. Bring it all back. So I, I As like you start that. playing like missions it. across really the globe, good, you'll realize aim has entrenched really good. themselves in cities uh, and remote locations what are we getting alike. On, man? Are we getting, all I, in the I name of research. Warzone's range yeah, from this wide open space. Actually, seeing gameplay, even though I don't see a HUD, it really bothers me because that just bothers me. So, but seeing it, I'm it definitely, I am now super interested on in getting the game. The I told you called to tame a titan. But for me, like, I'm just wondering, like, where that level of is it going to be a living game? Is it going to be that aspect of it's going to see this is the game and we're going to see constant updates for it down the road for years to come? Or is it here's the game, here's your missions, here's some DLCs, and that's kind of it until we decide to make the sequel into a franchise? Well, they did say there would be free updates. They didn't say if there's be paid updates the campaign, or not, you'll but I did say there would be free updates and upgrading the Chimera, the your helicarrier, um, and which is your release. own flying base. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know if the it's going to be a living The is a game. group who have banded together um, in the five years since A-Day. So that, that's Some are seen. inhuman and have powers. Michelle says, wait, you don't want an old Thunderball Rose? But I agree. Oh, I'm talking about Rock. Why did I say Rose? I read it as Rose. But I agree, I want, I want, uh, not my idea. Yeah. You'll join their They're cause in the field. I, I, I remember reading comics and Red Hulk was just like there, the then Alliance finding out who Red Hulk was later, and I was dumb, like, dumb, dumb, that, that was awesome. Really? Fury and more. That was an awesome reveal on who Red Hulk was. To new challenges. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, and like Dum Dum Dugan and stuff is in it. Like all the all the big shield Inventors people. Like this this items. was hitting my Marvel button, dude. Like I was fucking watching this. Threats like, on the horizon. So you stuff. want to ensure uh, your we'll Avengers the gameplay looks are ready tight. Like you said, anything. like seeing it without a HUD is a bit weird, but there's definitely a HUD. We've talked about uh, a lot today, one thing not talked about was crossplay. To be honest, if you don't talk about it, it's probably not there. Like I feel like if if the crossplay was a thing, they would have already. Just a global I don't, I don't think crossplay is going to be a thing. Even though Square Enix is known for its crossplay, the truth right? about Ames uh, yeah. but it's also launching as an Xbox One game. We all know that they can this be assholes about crossplay. This is a brand new original. Well. So uh, I, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. Well, it's not a paid subscription, so I, I don't know. Maybe they will announce crossplay. Uh, but it is uh, it is coming out for PS4. Xbox One, PC, and then PS5 and Series X. Upgrades have not been announced, I think. They have. I don't think they have been announced. Uh, this will be part of Xbox Series X Smart Play and the PlayStation 5 Smart-esque delivery. Okay. So Sweet. PlayStation so you... 5 hasn't said they have a smart delivery, but it's like, you bitches, you know you will. Yeah. And so, yeah, so that's cool. So you can get on September 4th. If you got it for the console, you'll be able to play it on... Uh, the next call. Uh, right behind the tracks, it's either Whedon or Tom Kenny. Kenny Tom Kenny. I had to go search a name. Who voiced Iron Man in the Superhero Squad show? Oh, okay. Um, is, is he voicing Iron Man in this too? I haven't looked at the voice cast for this. Um, and you know, from the first trailer, the faces were a bit polarizing for me. Yeah. Uh, the the models they chose, I didn't feel that way watching this anymore. I don't know if they've made a change or. It, because we saw a lot of gameplay and, and a lot less cinematics, you know, in that first trailer, we saw a lot of cinematics and it didn't bother me. I think maybe it was just the way it was presented the first time, but I did not feel that way anymore watching this. And it's also maybe because we didn't see Captain America really that much because he might have been the person that was the most different. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But I didn't feel that way watching this anymore. I felt that way with the first one. I didn't feel that way watching. Yeah, I mean, of course, how they look is going to be we're just gonna have to get into it, just like how every other how the cartoons are different. Uh, oh my god, I can't remember what we were what what Carly and I were watching that she just could not get into the costumes of how the characters look, and I'm like, I want to tell you, it's this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I I think Marvel Avengers is definitely gonna hook me into it. I think it's gonna hook me. That's right. And uh, so for the co-op more zone stuff, Chris Dynamics, uh, close up the War Table stream, looking at War Zones. There are co-op missions that can be played either with up to three other humans, players, or solo with a team of AI companions. Uh, you'll always make forward progress with the heroes, whether you play hero missions or War Zones, and you can launch missions from the War Table in your helicarrier. Uh, war Zones range from wide open areas to dense interior spaces, and they have a variety of different objectives to complete. Bosses to stop and rewards to earn. Crystal Dynamics says each Warzone mission is grounded in the storyline, so you'd be continually making progress in your battle against AIM. See, I think this is interesting, right? Because when it was first presented to us, right, they kind of presented it as you'll be able to play this game for player co-op the whole way through, right? That's kind of the vibe we got when we watched yeah. it. That's kind of how it was presented. That's not the case here. There's just going to be a small portion of the game that's multiplayer, which to me is still fine, but it's a little bit different. But I think it's because they're trying to tell a crazy good story. Uh, and to do that, that's hard to do having the full game co-op. But they're like, man, we're doing a fucking Avengers game. We need to have co-op. So uh, they went with this this way, which is kind of, I don't know. So I don't know if it's going to be a living living game for that reason. Uh, because it does feel like it's a bit of a single-player game. Yeah, agreed. Uh, like, if you, if you put the percentages out there, it'd probably be like 60-65% a single-player game. And then you know, 45 multiplayer. So I don't know if it's going to be that living game, but kind of the way they sort of made it seem to begin with. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but either way, I'm pretty hyped for it, and I'm excited to play it with you and the other nerds. That's right. Because All right, guys. Crystal Dynamics, that's right. Here we go. All right. This is the news of the night. Y'all probably want it if we're going to talk about it. Of course, you motherfuckers knew. You know Tomb Raider point A to point B. That's true. That's very true. Uh Coming here from The Verge, from Tom Warren. Microsoft is shutting down Mixer and partnering with Facebook Gaming. It's Rest a strategic move the for the future of xCloud. That's right. No, and, and and it's like, so you really think about it, right? And so is Mixer partnering with Twitch? Nah. I mean, I don't know if Twitch would even be like down with it. 
Uh, but at the end of the day, that they've made it clear, Microsoft has made it clear that X Cloud is its focus, right? Uh, even like consoles, cool if you buy them, but they want everyone on the subscription services, right? That that's what they want. Uh, and X Cloud is a big deal uh, for them. And the uh, the beta testing is going well. And the whole point was in Mixer, you're watching someone play the game, and you're like, well, fuck, I want to go play this game. You click the button. If you don't have X Cloud, you sign up for it, and boom, you're playing the game. If you do, you go straight to the game, right? You go straight into the game, and you're playing on X Cloud. And they were like, well, fuck, there's not enough people on Mixer for this to even be worth a damn. So uh, they they went and merged. They're merging with Facebook Gaming. They're sort of merging, partnering, right? That's what they say. They're partnering. Yeah. With it. So they're essentially essentially merging. Yeah, so everyone, all the streamers, and even the Mixer partners uh, from Mixer, they will be going over to Facebook Gaming, and Facebook Gaming has stated that they're going to be honoring any contracts and everything that the Mixer partners have. So uh, they go over to Facebook Gaming, uh, but they also have to sign like this NDA. Because coming over here from Slasher on Twitter, he even showed the actual full NDA that these people have to sh have to sign over to like, once they sign this NDA, then they can be a part. They are, they get the uh, phone call or whatever and get set up to be a partner with Facebook gaming. But I guess the NDA is probably talking about like the sale of uh, X cloud or mixer, sorry, sale of mixer and all that stuff. Some probably inner things that mixer partners know about that. They just not allowed to talk about. And, I don't speak legally, so even trying to read the NDA, I was just really confused. Like, what's their, what are they actually signing that they can't talk about, you know? Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, maybe the whole point is so you don't talk shit, right? Like, that's the whole point. When you sign this NDA, stop you from talking shit when you start playing on Facebook. Uh, just, here's an NDA. Don't talk shit about us. Thanks, guys. Uh, so, it's... It's it's very interesting because I sent you the uh, I sent you a link to like the uh, or I sent you the picture that they showed it there. Um, yeah, and I got the, I got the picture here. Yeah, they had like a whole meeting with everybody, right? See, the thing is, is that no one that worked at Mixer, no one that streamed for Mixer, knew about this at all until this Verge thing. Or I think they found out like a few hours before this Verge article hit. Uh, so like, no one even knew this was coming, and and they all had like they all could have got on this meeting. And they showed him this, like how much uh, the streaming, uh, how much streaming has gained within the year, and and where they sit percentage wise. And let me tell you, uh, Mixer, even getting Ninja, uh, <laughs> its growth has not been good. It's actually been uh, it's... worse than I, than anyone could ever thought when it when it comes to growth like yeah, no so, one is fucking so this graphic it does it's not showing the mixer one uh so uh, so i probably should have actually grabbed your picture sorry about that um it shows the actual hours watched from april 2019 to to the hours watched from april 2020 you know year to year growth and even here twitch went from like 750 million to 1.491 billion like that was a year of growth YouTube gaming had a 65% year to year growth. Facebook gaming fucking a 238% growth in that, a that, year. That, I was shocked by this. I was like, how many people are watching games on Facebook, dude? Like I've I have, never, I, I have three I, I, friends on my Facebook page that stream on, on Facebook gaming. Right. Can't really and, fathom it. And it, uh, it, I, I mean, sometimes I'll stop for like 10 because it's like if you follow a brand, like you'll obviously, obviously, you guys, I follow the Resident Evil brand on Facebook. And so when you follow a brand like that, you get in your timeline, you'll get when you're doing your scroll, they'll send a couple of Facebook gaming streams. Okay, you want to check this out. So I've stopped and watched a couple of people play Resident Evil for a few minutes, uh, but nothing crazy. But this growth is ridiculous. And then if you, uh, he's got a cut off, right? But if you, it, I, I just pulled it up. So Mixer's growth from April 2019, they had uh, 37, 37, well, this is point, I guess that's point, 37.044 million people 
yep. or thir- I'm sorry, 37.044 millions of hours watched. Okay. And then in April of 2020, they had 37.106 million with a growth of 0.2%. 0.2%. That is terrible. 0.2%. Even after. Even after picking up Ninja. Point, point, and Shroud. So this uh, is, who, who ha- again. Who have been relinquished from their fucking contracts and go wherever they want. So literally, they made the, the, the best career moves of their fucking lives. Uh, yeah, so I mean, they had Ninja. They had Shroud. They also picked up King Gothian, who's one of the big Destiny 2 streamers. And nothing from there. And we, even when they picked up Ninja, we figured that Ninja was, one, there to be the streamer. But at the same time, Ninja is, a, is actually a smart business guy. He has ideas that even helped Twi- the Twitch get some cool stuff done. Because yep. there was he was doing stuff on his channel that Twitch was like, oh, we should probably incorporate that. And so oh, he worked sh- with oh, that. Shit. And then now uh, he brought those ideas over to Mixer. But clearly those ideas were nothing. Whether or not it was Ninja's ideas weren't working or if Microsoft slash Mixer just didn't want to do them. That's behind closed doors, so we're never going to know. But Ninja and Shroud made out like bandits. Because they had the choice to either continue their contract moving over to Facebook Gaming. They decided no. They decided to get paid out for their contract. And now they're free agents. They can go wherever streaming service they want to now. And Ninja left with a payout of $30 million. Shroud got paid out $10 million. That's right. What? Uh, Arn- I know, it's crazy. Arun said, at least from where I come from, it's such an artificial balloon number. Are you talking about the, the streaming numbers? Uh, half the time I see it's buy and sell or FSR gambling streams. Uh, that, that's true. Are you talking about Facebook gaming? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Michelle says, I watch a Lord of the Rings online streamer while well, it's a channel of multiple streamers. I stream on Facebook, Twitch, and I think YouTube at the same time. Well, see, here's the thing about that, right, Machete? Here, here's the thing. Um, and, and some people will break, break this and don't give a fuck, right? Uh, we could multi-stream. Like, we could be streaming on Facebook and YouTube at the same time right now, too. Uh, but in our uh, affiliate contract, it literally says you can't. It doesn't say that we can't stream to those services. It says that we can't stream Twitch's content to those services. So, like, we can't stream what we stream here to their services, but we could, like, end the stream right now and then start it on, on Facebook, and, and that'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, but we can't, like, multi-stream at the same time. Do people break this rule? All the fucking time. All the fucking time. But if you ever got high enough to hit partner, uh, they'll they'll look, they'll go and look, and they'll reject your partner claim. So it's like it's a catch twenty two almost. So it's like where are you going to grow more, uh, Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook? Let's stream to all three and see what the fuck happens. Um, but I I I don't know. I, I've I've thought about it, but it's like it's such a for me at this point it's a weird thing to do because we we've. At this point, we have an audience, right? There's only a few of y'all motherfuckers, but you, know, you guys come <laughs> around and talk and shit. So it's like, I think it would be a weird dynamic if we just started streaming on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. It would be stream on Twitch. It would be one thing that I think they they should probably relook at the affiliate contracts in a sense. Yeah. And as a viewership on Twitch, if you reach a certain viewer of uh, a certain amount of concurrent viewers within a right. month's time, then you couldn't actually be on anyone else's streaming service. Because e- like, even for us, like right here, it's like, because when I play DCUO on Twitch and I shut it off, like, like Stevie B said, I can go and turn on Facebook gaming, but because of the affiliate contract, I can't do DCUO on Facebook gaming right after I just shut off on Twitch. I would have right. to play a different game until 24 yeah. hours is up. Right, you have to wait 24 hours, exactly. Um, so I, I just want to ask this question, and, and be uh, just be honest, I don't give a fuck what y'all's answer, be honest with me. If, if, if we switched to Facebook or YouTube gaming, either one, would you guys follow us to another platform, or would you just be like, fuck it, I'm out? Like, would you honestly come or not? Like, I just want to, I'm just curious. And that's, we, and, like, and that's honestly, honestly the risk, that because remember, uh, Shroud, especially, he lost 
like tr- like six digit viewerships when he moved to Mixer. They Ninja and Shroud they lost viewership. All right, they didn't actually. It's not like their fifty thousand from Twitch went to fifty thousand to Mixer. No, they went from fifty thousand on Twitch to almost maybe maybe even ten to fifteen thousand on Mixer. So they lost viewership, but that contract exclusivity was what was supposed to cushion that fall to make sure they didn't lose anything. I'm not sure what King Gothian really happened with him, but he's actually a mix a streamer who came from Twitch, went to Mixer, and now he continued the relationship, and he's now going over to Facebook Gaming. He has first Facebook Gaming stream today. Oh, wow. Yeah, I actually had that pop up on my feed. I'm like, I don't even follow you, fucker. How did you get all my goddamn things? That's because that's Facebook knows that. I know you watch. Okay, so Raph says, YouTube, YouTube may be Facebook. I barely use Facebook anymore at all. Uh, Jared said, Facebook, Trex needs to accept my friend request. But yes, anyway. Um, so not YouTube. I don't know. I've, I've considered maybe YouTube. I don't know about Facebook. We have a lot of followers on Facebook. Uh, I would actually I go to Facebook game before I go to YouTube. Uh, yeah, well, not yet. Oh, and people have to remember in Facebook gaming, there's no IGN. Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? IG- I'm thinking like the game company, but that's not what you mean, right? Not, not yeah, the, fuck those guys. <laughs> just kidding. I think yeah. you mean something else. So I'm just being fucking stupid and don't know. Um, and I, and, and th- there's a couple of like, like Showtime met a streamer that streams on Facebook. And uh, she she just like started in a, in a couple of months. She had a pretty pretty large following and was able to like yep. quit her job. So I I don't know if like Facebook's just like blown up over the past year and it's gonna continue to blow up. No I in-game think... name for few. Oh, that's right. That, that that's another thing, right? Aaron, like no in-game name for viewers, right? So like that was another weird thing watching a Facebook stream. Is that no one can go no like. There's something to be said about Twitch when it comes to like being able to be your username, right? As compared to oh, like, the anonymity. Yeah, like and and some people, some people like that, and like and I'm not shitting on it. Like so, some people want to get away from their lives and like and want to communicate with their Twitch streamers and like be their username almost. So that makes sense. I hope I hope I'm making sense, right? Um as compared to like who they are they just rather do it that's how they rather be which is totally fine and on facebook you don't get that because on facebook it's like your fucking name they know who you are like you say some fucked up shit on facebook game i can go to your fucking profile see your mommy is daddy is granddaddy like they go i use facebook only for gaming and maybe to see what my cousin's doing so you you machete you watch facebook gaming i'm just i'm just curious of how many people actually watch it um because it's very rare for me to sit down and watch someone uh play a game on facebook i've done it before i'm not gonna say i haven't um but it's pretty rare um i mean we should definitely just have to the one of the things that that's gonna that's gonna have to be done even from this year to year it needs to actually look from january all the way for this whole 2020 really from january to december like because of covid because of covid19 i want to actually see the metrics of growth for the month to month. That's right. what I want to see. Because Facebook gaming has definitely blown up. But I think it's also blown up. Because of COVID-19. Because we're all having to stay home and stuff. But I mean. Honestly, but, okay. Sorry. Honestly I'm not going to lie. I've seen on my personal Facebook page. Not Facebook gaming and got viewers. Yeah, I mean, because you're getting your friends and like you get everybody know you like, oh fuck, what 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 is what is he doing? Da, 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 da. Like, I mean, uh, I've used Facebook gaming to watch a couple of friends of mine who I actually do like and uh, follow their sh- and follow their channels. They they're more or less on the fighting game community, but I've gone through Facebook and they went live and I clicked the link and then I just minimize it and it's just a little screen on my corner and yeah. I'm still scrolling through my newsfeed. Like, that is just, and that still counts as a viewership. It's not right. going to include the engagement. Right. I'm not engaging in the chat or anything, but it's counting my viewership while I'm watching it for my buddy. So that's probably one thing that's probably going to hurt, too, is if someone, it's going to be the interaction and the engagement, is if someone just clicks on the link and has the video to the side, and they're doing their own thing still, or if they're going right. to actually watch you and interact with you while you're streaming. 
I mean, it's uh, there's another option out there called DLive.com. Uh, my friend Marsha from the Mommy Gamer, she streams over there uh, during the night, and she does a good job over there. It's still small. It's still very growing, and it's that's another really good platform that's up and coming as well. So there's still other options too, um, and but I mean we have but I mean I definitely think Facebook Gaming. I even think Facebook Gaming is going to have an interaction uh, on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One when the Xbox Series X drops. Well, they've actually already. It's not going to be like Mixer. It's not going to be like that. They've already said that. So it's no going to be on the interaction on the dashboard. Right. They're taking that away. Well, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Michelle so, says, wait, wait, wait. That... So how are folks going to have to stream on Facebook from their Xbox? They're going to have to literally go and get a capture card? Well, it's no, it's not going to have like the integrated streams. Like they're, they're, right now, there's a place where you can like go and watch streams right on the dashboard. Yeah. I think you'll be able to download the app and watch them that way. So what if folks want to stream from their from their Xbox to Facebook gaming? That's, the, See, that's that, what I was talking about. That I don't know. Because, I, I mean, you could still do it on Twitch. Like, you can still stream to Twitch. So, I'm assuming... I don't know if you can stream from your Xbox to Facebook gaming. I'm not sure. That's Yeah, that's the interaction that I'm that I'm thinking is going to come about. Yeah, DSC said get the Facebook Xbox app in game. I don't know. Yeah, you might be able to do it now. I honestly don't know. Uh, Mache says, I don't really... Once I learned the DDO and Lord of the Rings gaming channels are on Twitch, I follow them here. See, that's my, that's my point, right? Uh, I meant I play the Facebook games on Twitch. Yeah, I got you. That's my thing, though. Like, like Twitch, so all these numbers are still inconsequential to the massive amount of numbers Twitch has, right? Like, they've doubled their numbers within the year, right? Their their growth was a hundred percent through the year. They went from seven hundred and fifty million uh, hours watched to uh, one point four nine one billion hours watched, right? Like, so it's still. Twitch this is still, still, where Twitch still has are. the monopoly. It still has the monopoly. Right. And, like, and like, Facebook had definitely had the most growth. But, like, is that because, you know, I don't know, April. April is kind of when the COVID stuff started. It's when, you know, yeah, it's so, definitely when everyone started taking COVID very seriously. Right. So it's like, so that doesn't really include those numbers. That's a big fucking jump in Facebook gaming. So, uh, I mean, uh, YouTube gaming had a big jump too, but like 238% of Facebook is crazy. Uh, but it's like Arwen said, like how much of that is like, like inflate, it, you know what I mean? Like how much is that actually, it, so it says includes just chatting music, etc. as well. Uh, okay. And data provided by Facebook is specific to the total live gaming video. Watch them. Okay. So it's just gaming video for okay. Facebook. Okay. Um, uh, so at slasher. Uh, was on a uh, a mixer partner town hall, probably like a Zoom meeting or something. Right. And here's the thing about Slasher. He is Mister. I don't give a fuck about your NDA. <laughs> like, his, like literally his. I'm actually going to this channel. His, his cover photo is, I think, a DM from someone who is like, "Is there <laughs> anything I can do to get you to pull this that tweet?" And he goes, "No." That's fucking great. He, <laughs> he his name, his his little <laughs> username was like Rod. I don't do NDAs, Bresler. I'm like, wow. So even as a person, like I follow NDAs when it comes to my gaming stuff, you know. But like he's here reporting news about esports and about gaming. It's like, fuck it, yeah. I I definitely go straight to him. I'm like, he gives no f's. Yeah, popcorn. Just this is great. Absolute savage, excuse me. Uh, Aaron said, but man, most of the viewership from where I come from just back for skins or prepaid cell phone minutes. No engagement whatsoever. That sucks. So during this town hall meeting, he didn't really, it wasn't like as scathing as I thought it was going to be. It was basically just people from Mixer saying their goodbyes and then lead it over to the Facebook uh, gaming folks uh, talking about going over details of the move. And he's like, yes, I am watching the NDA live stream. Uh, and then Gothian came on stage, gave his impasse, tearful message. I know all of us would have liked this to have gone differently. Thank y'all so much for your streams and your years with Mixer. Uh, and then, I don't know where this came from, but it was a screenshot here from Gaming Video Mission. We are building the world's most approachable gaming video community. 
to welcome the full spectrum of fans and streamers. I think mm. that's probably from Facebook Gaming, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's even better because I couldn't understand his next picture, but it says confidential, do not dis- do not distribute, and it's this picture that he just distributed. Like, what the fuck? Classic. Classic. Uh, and then, of course, he had the uh, the VP head of Facebook Gaming, Vivek Sharma, as the final speaker that will be taking questions from Mixer Partners as well. So, uh, and that actually got even funnier, too, because I got to scroll through because today, actually, some more shit hit the fan today. Uh, Guy keeps scrolling. So, let me find it. So, yeah. So, Slasher was actually told the night before about the mixer sale, but he didn't think anything of it. And it's right here. I've heard Facebook is buying mixer to be announced tomorrow morning. He was kicking himself because he couldn't confirm the scoop. That very same VP head tweeted, replied, tweeted, basically don't retire just yet. The gaming scoops need you. We didn't buy mixer simply given an option for streamers to join if they wish. And Rod replies as Rod does. It's like, you're right, Vivek. I decided to live log your NDA town hall here on Twitter. Hope that's cool. You're doing a great job up there. <laughs> what a dick. I love <laughs> oh. So that's oh. at Slasher on Twitter. And and again, and uh even today it was like a big uh more stuff happened with some with Blizzard folks, which is crazy as fuck. But yeah. Like, even Dexter, uh, Dexerto counted out, too, that Ninja made approximately 30 mil, Shroud with t- uh, 10 million. That's and fucking insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely. So, yeah, he, he had some uh, other stuff happen today, too, so that was fucking great. Um, good old Blizzard drama. Good old Blizzard drama. And look, puppies. He has puppies. He lost a doggy, sadly. Oh, that's a... Yeah, poor guy. Uh, oh, wait. That w- w- oh, my God. I'm so glad we went here. Why? Uh, hold on here. What the fuck? 13 minutes? Wait. Twitch says it will begin issuing permanent suspensions to the most severe allegations and cases as most of the alleged incidents took place off Twitch. The company states they will need more information with some cases being reported to authorities. Twitch also says they've upped enhanced defensive username detection and have added more words to the auto mod ban list. The purge has begun. Oh boy. (laughs) All right. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bless RNG, Dreaded Cone, War Witch, 21 Wolf, I Am Spoon have been permabanned. So, damn. Woo! Shit. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Here we go. Twitch ain't fucking around. Nope. Door they fucking should either. Maybe we can get rid of actually some fuckers too. So, so yeah, Mixer sale was completely, and even the partner, Mixer partners didn't know about it either. So it was like unexpected across the board. Uh, so of course I want, and I share it out there on Twitter, my Twitter myself. So please, if anyone out there knows or is watching the Mixer folks, and they move to Twitch, they move to Facebook Gaming, please be sure to like share the link out there so folks can know, especially on Twitch. These are folks that we don't need to make fun of them on being Mixer. We've had years of doing that, but now they're at their lowest, and we don't kick them while they low. These are streamers that basically, quote unquote, lost their job. And now they have to start fresh at their new job. Brand spanking new. We haven't even heard if Twitch is going to honor any Mixer partner contracts. If they're going to go contract to contract. Facebook Gaming will. But we haven't heard if Mixer's going to, or if Twitch is going to follow suit with that. Or to help oh, them out. Oh yeah, no, they haven't said that. Like, I think Facebook is offering them, uh, I think it was like 2500 bucks. Uh, yeah, think about months. that too. It's a $2,500 signing bonus with a 90-day commitment to Facebook yeah. Gaming. 
And then, and then that was like up in the air where the 90 day commitment was a thing. It was just like you had to, you, if you just like stream for them, like uh, the 90 day commitment thing was like people were saying different things about it, whether that was true or not. So I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Like Facebook's just like, not nah, doc, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like Facebook's we'll giving more money than else. we got from the government. It's true. Well, okay, yeah. maybe some of us who don't have children. Like, like, listen, listen, uh, it's gonna happen. Uh, more mop up. Uh, what's going down? War Witch to King of Hype have been banned. Yeah, oh, yeah, they, they, yep. they banned a lot. They, they're, they're not, fu- listen, and it's good that they're not fucking around, right? Unless they come after me, then it's just like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Whoa, 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 <laughs> that's the beginning of this stream, right? They're like, no, listen, <laughs> it's okay. I was talking about dudes. It's okay. <laughs> Men uh, lives matter too. That's right. Uh, oh my god, this is getting banned. Uh, yep. <laughs> so the final piece of information is probably the biggest gaming announcement that we cannot stress enough, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's very important. Welcome to the KF console. That's right. This is true 4K. KFC Gaming presents. Out for me, it's equipped with a chicken chamber. Dog, you can cook chicken and play your games at the same fucking time, boy. Cross platform compatibility, true 4K, 120 frames per second. What KFC coming out the gate? Power, Power your hunger. hunger, November 12th, 2020. You know, it'd be funny if like. <laughs> During that launch window, they like their buckets look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you see like a- Xbox? <laughs> Xbox is like, can you wait inside it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so, yeah, that's cool. We just, just end it with some fun, boys. Uh, I thought I saw him streaming a couple of days ago. Uh, not anymore, you won't. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. does the KFC have a grease resistant controller with the console because people are going to eat chicken? Oh, yeah, that's not going to be good, Jacob. Like, that's what you got I, I, napkins what? for, folks. God, calm down. Yeah, but still, I get I get upset when my keyboard gets messy from eating. I oh like my God. I like I move my keyboard so far away when I eat at my desk. Like, even then, it still gets a, a little bit messy. It makes me mad. Oh my God, dude! I, I you're just looking good gaming. I just you know, looked at their description uh, for their name. It's finger clicking good. Well, there you go, boys. Power your hunger. I mean, KFC has gaming. Where, where's my Bojangles gaming at? Where's where's my Bo gaming? Except for the seven Bojangles in Greensboro. They can go fuck themselves for having a racist-ass franchise owner. Sorry, we we get woke around here. <laughs> Especially about my Bojangles. You ain't fucking around uh, about the Bojangles. All right, we almost went to midnight tonight, boys. There you go. We did. This is a jam pack note of game report. But don't you forget, if you're watching on YouTube, you can watch this show live. You can watch it live at twitch.tv slash nerds of the apocalypse. It's right beneath me at 9 30 p.m. Eastern ish on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Ish. Don't forget, you can watch us live at twitch.tv slash Apocalypse right below me. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Ish. It's a lot of fun. You join it on the chat like all these all these uh, lovely people did. They joined it on the chat, and so can you. So can you. So can you. You can discuss the KFC system. Because obviously that's the most important thing we talked about tonight. That's right. Uh, Definitely not about the Star Wars squadron that happened last week that i forgot things existed i know right that's gonna be good i was gonna put it up there but i was like man we talked so much about it the we thing. So like, much. yeah we talked so much about it so uh we're definitely all getting replaying it oh uh, yeah uh, aaron we're here live that's right aaron you can come watch us live on wednesdays at 9 30 p.m eastern uh okay 
So just for the future of this week of the stream, it's Wednesday tomorrow. You might get Samari. I'm not sure if she's going to be streaming tomorrow night. She should. So hopefully she should be here. And then on Friday, we have our free company Friday. Uh, Raph is organizing a uh, an old content run. We're going to be unsyncing and running some old content for the people that haven't caught up yet. So don't forget to have some fun with that. And we also, uh, what did I say, Wednesday? You meant Thursday. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ari will be streaming on Thursday. I apologize. Uh, and. And some giveaways.
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're not. Hold wait, okay, wait. We okay, we are back, but like I can't click on shit. Okay, hold what the hell happened? Dude, what? I don't... <laughs> I was trying to explain all the cool shit we're doing on Friday, and you fucked it up. I sneezed, and I held the, the mute button so I could... So no one heard me, but then, like, you froze, and my sound, like, X-Split froze. Like, you just gave me the spinny wheel thing, and like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, my God. Okay. For those that missed it, Everyone. on Friday, we'll be doing our follower and sub giveaway. Okay? So be sure to be here Friday. If for whatever reason you can't be here Friday and you're a subscriber, not necessarily a follower, but if you subscribe to the channel and can't be here Friday, DM Ari or I, and we will add you to the list if you have to work. Uh, we want everyone to be included that can be included um, or that wants to be included uh shit okay so she'll be streaming thursday we'll be streaming friday uh for that <sighs> what about you tracks what are you streaming the rest of the week i don't know you need to be you need to be streaming something because clearly you're out of practice i don't know we have we i mean uh, we we gotta do wiring for uh, for one of our buildings and oh uh, okay and i don't know when and this the, i asked my i asked my boss is like hey when you guys going to start? And like, oh, don't worry. We got it taken care of. I'm like, okay, well, when's it going to be? Because if you need help, I'll need help. I'll help. And it's like, okay, don't worry. We got it. We got it. I'm like, okay, cool. Text message in our group chat. So who wants hey, to come pull you. 100 feet of wire? I'm like, you couldn't ask during the day? I'm keeping all this on YouTube. This is going to be great. <laughs> uh Okay, so, all right. So, for those who don't know, you can follow the Nerds on Twitter at Nerds of the Apoc. We're on Facebook to search for Nerds of the Apocalypse. We're on YouTube, search for Nerds of the Apocalypse. And we're on Instagram to search for ner at Nerds of the Apoc. All right. And then I'm personally on Twitter at CVB5986. I have my own Resident Evil focused YouTube channel. Search for CVB and Resident Evil. Otherwise, you'll get that stupid ass pop swinger. Don't worry, we'll beat him one day. What about you, Trex? Where can we find you online? I'm sick of this whole follow the singer shit you guys have started. <laughs> Don't follow him. Fuck. He what about be, you, Trex? He might be talented. Where, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitter at this is Trex and at twitch.tv slash Trexlight. <laughs> there you go. Maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe. All right. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out tonight. Uh, it's been follow Stevie. We do not fucking follow Stevie. God damn it. Did you know about? Did I tell you about that? Erin was searching for someone to gift a sub to, and she literally found someone with the Twitch name Stevie Weeby and gifted it them. Yeah, I was here for that. You were here for that. That's, right. That's fucked up. Anyway, uh, so thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, crazy shit going down uh, all over the place. Good, bad, ugly. So we're here to talk about it with y'all. And uh, yeah, we love you guys. We love each and every one of you. And we will fucking see you next week, boys. We'll see you next week. I'm, of course, Stevie B. And this beautiful mocha silent man is... Tracks. Tracks. Stop fucking with him and say your name. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Tracks. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Jacob, thank you for continuing to get this up. You're the fucking man. Appreciate you. Uh, damn, right at the end. Thank you, Jacob, so much for that support. We love you. Uh, okay, you guys, we will see you on the Game Report next week. We love you. Mwah. Bye. Dude, I swear, all I did was just, I held the mute button to just silence myself so no one heard the sneezes. And, like, I turned back. And see you just free frozen. I couldn't click on the dis in the X split, and it's like no one they they still saw my camera move. I was like, I'm still moving, so it's not really frozen, but no sound. Like, what's happening?
You know what? You know what it is. You know what it actually is. What it actually it's, is. Hold on. I, I would say it, but I, I I need I need to I need for you to actually hear it, uh, because this 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 is this is what I was thinking. Hold on. Yeah, I need I need you to actually, uh, fucking hear it, because uh, it it honestly, uh, it 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 broke my heart, and you need to be able to hear this clip live. Man, what the fuck is wrong with EA? Burnout Paradise Remastered forty nine ninety nine. Man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's it's uh, let's see, it's it, you might get some little extra extra, but it's this. Yeah. It's fucking embarrassing, Craig. What it is? <laughs> How dare you <laughs> use my 2020 phrase on me? Fucking embarrassing. Later, nerds and trucks. You have a good one. Good night, Michelle. We love you. All right, you guys. We love you. We're out. Mwah.